This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Now, how do we go about creating our own user form? Well, in the Excel file that you would like to use a form in, we go into the VBA and we simply go to Insert User Form. This gives you a default size rectangle. This is the size of your form, so it can be resized. You can go bigger, you can go smaller, depending on the size of form that you would like. Now, when you ask for a user form, you'll find you get the toolbox that appears by default, so that can be moved around. These are the controls that we can add to your user form. If it just happens that your toolbox is not visible, or you've closed it by yourself, you can reactivate it by going to View and Toolbox. The Properties box, which appears by default here, but it might not be there, let's close that. Properties box, which should be here, is reopenable from the View menu, Properties window, or F4 for the keyboard shortcut. Now the properties are of the object that you have selected. So currently we have the user form selected, so it gives us the properties for the user form. If we were to add an object, such as a label, which we do by selecting the object, come across into your user form and click and drag, then you will find that because the label is selected, this is now the properties for the label. So you need to keep an eye on that top little bar there for the properties palette. If I click back on the user form, it becomes the properties for the user form. Now by default, the first form that you insert is called user form one. The second one is called user form two. The third, user form three. I'm sure you can see a pattern. We can, however, use the properties to rename our forms, so they don't have to have that, well, awful naming convention for starters, user form one. We could call this question A, and when I tab out of that property, you'll see that it then changes the form here in the form section, question A. All of your user forms will be listed here with either their default name, which is user form, and the next number, or if you've changed the name, that will then appear here. However, you will also need to change the caption. Caption is the bit that will appear on the blue bar here when the form is used. Well, that will still say user form one until you change the caption. Now the captions can have spaces in them. So I'm gonna call that question one, but the name itself can't have spaces. So the caption, which is for human usage, can have spaces, the name cannot have spaces. Now all the VBA code that the form requires is stored with the form. The only bit of VBA that is not stored with the form is the piece of VBA that will actually open the form in the first place. But all the rest is with it. So any actions that are required behind the values selected from command buttons or boxes or anything on the form is stored with this form. If you want to inspect the code that is with this form, we go to view code or you can press F7. You can see that takes us into the code. At the moment, there's just the skeleton of a sub procedure for clicking the user form. And to come back to the form itself, we go view object. So it's F7 to go to the code and shift F7 to go back to the form. So we insert a new form using insert user form. We give it a sensible name and a sensible caption using the properties on the left. And then we add objects as required from the toolbox that is free floating, so it can be put where you like. If you close it, you can open it from the view toolbox. And then code for the form is stored with the form and we move between the code sheet and the user form itself using either the view menu to go to code or object or F7 and shift F7 to move back and forwards between the two parts. So that allows you to create your first user form and to start looking at adding objects from the toolbox. We're going to explore more objects from this toolbox in the next section.